plastic closure technique of a tracheostomy. In this project, I will describe my strategy in the management of imminent tracheostoma closure in patients with bilateral laryngeal paralysis and threatened airway obstruction. The patient involved suffered from iatrogenic bilateral voice cord paralysis after a thyroidectomy that was performed elsewhere 15 years earlier. During the same time period, she had undergone a tracheostomy and multiple laryngeal open surgeries in order to widen the glottis. After she managed satisfactory breathing, the tracheostomy was eventually closed, although she still had relative difficulty breathing with overt inspirational wheeziness. The steps of the operative procedure. First, I prepare a circular skin flap around the tracheostoma, which anchors at the anterior wall of the trachea. I undermine and mobilize the neck skin all around the flap. Inversion and suturing of the circular flap in order for the skin to be internalized and constitute the new tracheal wall. I resect the redundant skin triangles. This patient was brought to our hospital with hypoxia and loss of consciousness during her sleep. She was promptly intubated and admitted to the ICU unit. For safety reasons, I performed a tracheostomy and concurrent Kashima operation, in other words, laser endoscopic widening of the posterior glottis. I usually avoid performing tracheostomies in laryngeal paralysis after thyroidectomy, but in this case I did it because of the expected long stay in the ICU. After she was discharged from the ICU, I tested her inspirational capacity by occluding the tracheal tube with a cup for 15 days and concurrently told her to climb the hospital stairs every day. 
When spirometry was near normal, I decided to perform surgical occlusion of the tracheostomy. Practically, that happened at the point when she managed to reach the third floor without discomfort and tolerated the closed tube during sleep, approximately 20 days after the first day I blocked the tube with a cup. I place subcutaneous sutures intradermal suturing I suture a sponge bolster to seal the dead space. This video is for educational purposes only. Thank you for watching.